Today in Crypto Longtime Republican Party member and operative, Roger Stone, is selling as a non-fungible token, a magazine cover, which is reported to be autographed by Donald Trump, a former U.S. president from the Republican Party. Speaking in a 54 seconds long video, Stone stated that the cover in question was the Real Estate New York, a now defunct trade publication. It is regarded as one that the past president really liked reading and later became the standard for everything he did. According to Stone, the major reason for selling the autographed cover was to enable him to raise funds to cover his legal expenses as a result of defending himself in several civil lawsuits, which he described as harassment civil suits. Stone is quoted as saying, between the cost of defending myself and six remaining meritless but sensationalized harassment civil suits and the J6, January 6, which hunt my legal expenses are formidable. The magazine cover would be sold as an NFT, a special kind of digital art that is not interchangeable and forms part of several items within a wider collection of NFTs belonging to Stone's memorabilia. Related, former First Lady, Melania Trump launches NFT platform to inspire and make money no offer has been received for the magazine cover, which was posted on popular biting site handbid.com, as of Thursday afternoon. However, according to Stone, any winning bid for the magazine NFT that goes beyond $20,000 will be accompanied by a physical copy of the item. Mr. Stone was one of several top politicians pardoned by the former president for lying to the U.S. Congress concerning the alleged Russian involvement in the 2016 U.S. presidential elections. However, following the presidential pardon, he has been inundated with several lawsuits about his role in the infamous 6th January Capitol Hill riots. Therefore, this intended sale would offer much-needed financial assistance to the political strategist, whose wife is also presently undergoing cancer therapies. Continue reading on BTC Peers. Chinese tech giant Baidu, Nasdaq Baidu, is not looking to be left out on the metaverse race. The company has officially begun internal testing of its first metaverse-based tab called Xirang. Testing has now been open to a designated group of users as the company pushes to gain a foothold in the fast-rising metaverse sector. The company further noted that the app would become open to all users on Monday 27 during its annual flagship developers conference. Baidu Create. The conference is China's first metaverse conference and will hold via the metaverse platform Xirang. Dubbed the Land of Hope, the metaverse app will host up to 100,000 people in a 3D virtual environment. Participants will be able to interact with others and explore the iconic features of places like the Shaolin Temple and the Sanxing Dewey Museum during the three day event. Meanwhile, the Metaverse Conference has one main forum and 20 sub-forums. Baidu aims to unveil its technological advances and applications in areas like artificial intelligence, intelligent transportation, biocomputing, quantum computing, and autonomous driving. Developers and creators from all over the world are invited to participate in the conference. According to Ma Jia, Baidu's vice president and head of Xirang, creating a truly immersive real-time experience. Backing visual effects, and interactive sound are the three biggest drawbacks that could stall the development of the metaverse. We need to make breakthroughs in several key technologies, such as safe, self-independent and intelligent cloud computing technologies as well as continue to innovate in artificial intelligence, edge computing, virtual reality and augmented reality while building up a content ecosystem. Currently, the metaverse is still in a very early stage. Its development is gradual and we need a community and a long time to build it. That being said, Baidu is looking to build the infrastructure to power the metaverse, through technical support in the area of AI and cloud computing. Continue reading on BTC Peers. Last Friday, the Senate of Paraguay approved a cryptocurrency bill introduced in July. The provisions, which define several key terms, including virtual assets and call for licenses to mine cryptocurrencies, will now be sent to the deputy chamber for further deliberation. Senator Fernando Silva Facetti, the bill's sponsor, revealed that it's passed in the Paraguayan Senate after a contentious debate. According to the senator, the law also aims to foster the growth of crypto mining activities by using the surplus electricity generated in the country. Continue reading on Cointelegraph. The Chinese internet giant Baidu, Nasdaq Baidu, 
doesn't expect to fully launch its Xirang Metaverse app soon despite the app's initial web debut on Monday, according to a senior executive. Baidu Vice President Majia believes that it is still negative six years to full Xirang's launch, CNBC reported on Thursday. He noted that the development of the app started in December 2020. Continue reading on Coin Telegraph. On Thursday, Salvadoran President Nayib Bukele reaffirmed his belief for Bitcoin. BTC, Supremacy on Twitter, NYSE, TWTR, once again, this time stating that after widespread adoption occurs, it's game over for fiat. The Salvadoran president has been a mainstay in news headlines due to his government's regular BTC purchases and absolute pro-Bitcoin stance. He has made frequent statements and comments to support the original cryptocurrency while refusing to budge in the face of criticism that Bitcoin is a bad idea for the nation. Continue reading on Cointelegraph. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.